This time last year, a couple of birds decided to start raising a family in my backyard. And they had the wonderful idea of setting their nest up on top of the back door light, which is, you can see, less than two feet away from the door. I didn't like that, so we got in an argument and we decided, or compromised, that they would build their nest here, which is a little bit better, but it's still too close, because every time I walk in and out of the door, they're always flying away. They actually did a pretty good job about not pooping everywhere. It was very clean. They're very courteous renters, I guess you could say, but I still didn't like that location because it was just a little bit too close. Every time I came and went, they're always chirping and flying away and making all kinds of noise. So I want to come up with a better compromise this year. You might not be able to see it, but on this bar over here, there are two holes used by something from the previous owner. And I want to use those two holes to make a better birdhouse for them. And then I'll do something to close off, or I think last year I put a piece of um, Coke can box at an angle so they couldn't sit up here. And then I'll have to do something to close off this beam that they did last time. And so hopefully we can get them to move to the furthest beam. I am going to be building this out of some cedar fence pickets that I pulled out of my overhead storage area. And I read on the internet and it suggests that the floor of the box be seven inches by seven inches and it be about five and a half inches tall. So I'm going to cut a bunch of random pieces out of this wood and then we are going to glue and screw it all together to build this birdhouse. So here is the basic layout of the birdhouse. The back is here. This is going to be screwed to the frame of the cover. This matches the slope of the cover and I have it overhung just a little bit and I'll be covering this with a waterproof membrane because the patio cover isn't 100% sealed and any rain that gets dripped onto the roof, I wanna be able to drip off and go back um, and drip to the ground. I've covered the back and the side with the full walls because this is the direction that driving rain comes from and I wanted to fully protect the nest from that. I left this side open so that the birds had an option to dip out of the nest and fly around in a way if they get startled by me or some other noise instead of just having one entry and exit to the patio itself. So uh, all I have to do is glue and nail this together, wait a little bit for the glue to set, put the membrane on, and then we will be outside putting the bird house up.
Maria, I'm just ahead. So we've, I finished the bird house, um, put some of the flashing tape on the top, wrapped around the edges, around the back as well. I included these two slots because I think water drips out of those holes. And I think it's actually part of the gutter system of the cover. Um, so if that is the case and water does leak through the threads of the screw, I want them to be able to drip out protected the two back sides from direct driving rain um i think we are good to go so i didn't have a good way to measure the holes that already existed so we're just going to drill new ones and mount it up there um and what you all can't see behind the camera is either the mama or the daddy bird sitting over there um and i'm glad i got those done real quick because i'll show you in a second So like that, the birdhouse is up and I don't know where mom and daddy are, but let me, let me show you why getting this done was so urgent because I know these birds, but I didn't know that they were this fast. That's already a nest. I've been working on this birdhouse for three hours and in the time that it took me to build that um they built that so i just washed my hands i'm gonna go wash them again and get tool smell off of them just washed my hands with just water nice and well i'm gonna put some gloves on i'm probably gonna get yelled at for trying to do this but the options are either have a nest in that house or don't have a nest at all. I'm gonna rub my hands in the grass. Get some nature smell on them. And we're gonna move the nest. All right, nest has been moved, nest is in. I think there's enough room. It seems like there's enough room for their head from last time. They're not big creatures. Hopefully I can put the cardboard over the light and it will push them to realize that it was moved. Hopefully it didn't disturb it too much, but that's gonna be the end of this video. Thanks for coming along on this journey. It was a little impromptu. I will of course keep you all up to date with how the birds are doing.